I am so grateful for the opportunity to share with you my sweet experience with the Lord. My name is Rasul. I was born in the city of Rome in 1963. I was raised in a religious family and eventually moved to Tehran. Being a devout Muslim, I was actively following my religious convictions and wanted to follow that path. After the revolution, I was even more involved in religious activities as my beliefs grew. I really believed that I could have a fortunate life through following Islamic laws and keeping my religious and traditional rituals. I even thought that I could benefit my society and community with this traditional lifestyle. With the way that my life and the world around me was heading towards, my belief system weakened to the point that I felt that I was denied by my religion and all my dreams would not come true. Nevertheless, I stood firm to my cultural and religious ethics and the reason for that was simply because I had lived my entire life with those principles. And that was not something I wanted to run away from. After I got married, God gave us a baby girl and we named her Venus. When my daughter was two years old, she was diagnosed with epilepsy and carried the disease for five years. This disorder was characterized by unprovoked seizures and convulsions. I took her to the best doctors in Iran, and even during the time that we lived in Sweden, I took her to the doctors there in order for her to get well. But there were no results and all they could offer was to help control the disease. Our lives went on while Venus still had the disease and I was busy with my own work until I faced an economic crisis in my business and almost went bankrupt. Due to circumstances at work, the pressure from my business was affecting my family. The struggles and arguments between me and my wife caused more mental disturbance for my daughter. And as a result, Venus would react with harsher convulsions. No one other than our immediate families knew about Venus's problem. We were hiding the situation from everyone because we wanted to save face around our surroundings. Also, we were just hoping that ultimately she would be cured through medical treatment. On top of all the difficulties that I was already facing, I had to struggle with new problems that kept adding up in my life. I relied on my beliefs and asked many religious people for help and even went to different Islamic sacred places to pray to Allah with the hope that God would hear my voice. I prayed that God would restore Venus's health and get me out of the mess that I was in. But unfortunately, I didn't receive sympathy. Nothing changed and I had no peace whatsoever. This was about nine years ago and I was really struggling with my situation for about three months. The conditions in my life didn't get any better and there were more destruction to come. Some of my friends told me that I was destroying myself while my problems would be solved someday in the future. And they suggested that I use alcoholic drinks and drugs for the time being. They said this will at least give me some sympathy and help me live my life again. So I started using drugs and alcohol just like any other person who takes refuge in narcotics. And from that point on, my life went downhill even more. I remember this one night I was alone by myself and I realized that all the doors of hope were closed. I said to God, it just seems as though you don't exist anymore, because if you did, there would have been some kind of action from your side. 
You would have shown me a way to solve my problems. How come you have given me a tongue to speak with you, yet I never receive a response from you? Although I felt unworthy before God, I still couldn't understand why He was so indifferent towards my situation. That's when I really doubted the existence of God. I thought to myself, if there really is a God, and I am trying to use my religion to end this chaos, then how come nothing works out and nothing changes? For the last time, I decided to ask only one question from God, and I said, Oh God, if you exist, please reveal me your truth. Right after I asked this question, I saw a man standing in front of me who introduced himself as Jesus. He was wearing a long robe and had long hair. He asked me what my problems were, and I told him everything. I felt so much at peace, though I didn't know why. After I shared with him all my problems, he gave me assurance that he would take care of it all. After that vision, I felt so peaceful. Just moments before that, I had thoughts of committing suicide, because it seemed as though death was my only way out. But amazingly, I was filled with the spirit of joy. My hopes went up again, and that night I was able to get a good night's rest, something I was deprived of for two to three months. That morning, I woke up at 7.30 when I heard my phone ringing. I usually told my wife to pick up the phone, since the callers were always my debt collectors. So I didn't want to be bothered by them getting mad at me again with their angry tones. That's why I avoided phone calls. But that day, I felt as though there was this unique strength in me that gave me extra courage and I was able to pick up the phone. Thank God it was someone who wanted to buy our house. I had put our house for sale, but was not successful. That same day, I miraculously sold the house for a very good price, which solved all my financial problems, and I recovered my business as well. That whole week, I gave gift offerings to all those places I regarded as sacred and holy, whether they were located in my home province of Rome or in Tehran, where I lived. Meanwhile, deep in my heart, there was this voice telling me that Christ was the one who did this for you and that it would be fitting to give to the church or give towards the work God is doing through Christ. That's when I contacted a friend of mine who was Christian and told him how I saw Jesus appeared in my vision and I asked him to take me to a church where I could give a small gift as a token of thanksgiving. So he introduced me to this church that we went and the church minister started talking to me about the love of God. I had read several books on religion and was raised in a religious family for many years. Yet, when the minister was explaining God's love to me, I felt a great thirst and interest towards that topic within me. It was as if I had never heard anything like that before. I felt so rejuvenated when he was describing the kind of love that God has towards us. It was a very unique experience for me. The church minister was very kind and he prayed for my daughter. That same night that he prayed, I had a dream that my daughter Venus was having convulsions while she was in my arms and she had the usual seizure movements. Her head was in one direction, her eyes the opposite direction, teeth biting and her body shaking. Suddenly in my dream I shouted out saying, Christ, you promised me that you would heal my daughter. Then I saw a hand reaching Venus's face from the top of my right shoulder. And I heard a voice declaring that she was healed. 
When I glanced back, I noticed from the color and quality of the robe that it was the same robe Christ was wearing in my vision. When I woke up from my dream, I immediately rushed to Venus's room. I started praying and I noticed that in those 15 minutes that I was praying, Venus's body didn't even move once. That was strange, because her body muscles would always contract once every couple of minutes. I had never seen Venus sleep that peacefully, and that peace transferred into me as well. I came to believe that Christ indeed healed Venus. That morning we went to the doctor and after he took two brain scans from Venus and took her blood test three times in that week, he assured me that there was nothing wrong with Venus anymore. And he said, if Venus wasn't my patient, I would have never believed that she was once sick. Venus's healing didn't turn me into a believer in Christ. I was so deeply strangled in my own religious beliefs and viewpoints that even the idea of turning away from it seemed impossible. Even after Venus was healed, I did not see it necessary for me to believe in Christ. However, God put a sense of curiosity in me. I was curious to know why God introduced Christ to me when I asked Him to show His truth. It was Christ again who healed Venus and restored my own life as well. Therefore, I started searching for the truth, trying to find out which of these two was the truth. The religion that I grew up with all my life or Christ who introduced himself to me, although I had never called upon his name for help. I don't even remember anyone telling me about Christ. I might have only read some things about him in my own religious books, and that was it. So I started researching and reading books day and night for a period of one month, because it was important for me to discover the truth and find out where I'm standing in regards to it. I studied and examined different literatures from my own religion, which I was quite familiar with, and read Christian books including the Bible which was new to me, but it wasn't helpful. My questions kept adding up and it was really hard for me to accept that Christ could be the savior of humanity or that Christ was the image of God and the Son of God. All this created a million more questions for me, until one night I prayed to God and I said, Lord, I asked for your truth to be revealed and you introduced Christ to me. But this is beyond my comprehension. If this is the truth, please help me to understand it. And all of a sudden I felt this breeze of wind entering my body. While I could feel this sensation, I felt like all that sadness, fear and doubt leaving my body. It felt as though little by little these things were getting out of my body and instead they were being replaced with a great sense of assurance and faith. After this experience I'll never forget how I was shouting, Jesus Christ is the Savior. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is the one who can set anyone free of their agonies. And because I had this experience myself, I believed in him and one month after that gave my heart to Christ. The peace that I received after committing myself to Christ brought many changes in my life. With God's grace, the Holy Spirit that was working in me changed my perspective towards life and the way I was living. I used to drink and do drugs in order to get some sympathy. I had sinned and made many bad mistakes in my life, but with the conviction that the Holy Spirit brought upon me after my repentance, I came clean again. I was free of my old nature and now I had peace and joy in my life. 
I could enjoy God's presence even in my own household. The Holy Spirit brought changes in other areas of my life as well. Before, I used to justify everything I did. I would justify lying and hypocrisy by thinking that it was necessary at times. There was dishonesty in different areas of my life, but I would justify myself with the thought that sometimes it is needed to further succeed in life. After my encounter with Christ, I saw all these things being cleansed from my life. Through God's grace, my dishonesty turned into integrity, and instead of hypocrisy, I chose to be sincere and honest. After my encounter with Christ, I was no longer putting an act to be religious and holy, but instead I was restored with His empowering Spirit, and I knew I had a place in the Kingdom of God. These were all great changes that my family, especially my wife, noticed in my life and eventually motivated both my wife and daughter to commit themselves to Christ. My daughter's healing was actually not the main factor that brought us to Christ. Rather, it was the internal spiritual transformation which brought so many changes to our lives. Nine years has passed since we had that sweet experience with the Lord and we have had those encounters with God continuously with our family to this day. It is interesting that after my repentance, I would sometimes think, it's great, I have moved from one religion container to another religion container. But I realized that the encounter with Christ cannot be contained in a box, because this is a journey that extends all the way to Christ's kingdom, and it is a daily transformation process. I really praise the Lord because He doesn't look at us as only His servants, but also as His co-workers and ambassadors. His grace is sufficient enough that He makes Himself known to us and uses us to make Him known to others on this earth as well, so that those who are lost can find the truth and get the everlasting joy, peace, sympathy, healing and strength that comes with it. I want to grow in my faith and mature in Him, so that as time goes by in this journey, I can become more like Him.